In this problem, we have a literal equation, ax minus by equals cx plus z, and we're looking for x. So the goal is going to be to get everything with an x on one side by itself. Once we do that, we can factor an x out and finish. So look, this has an x and this has an x. So these things need to be by themselves. Let's do it in steps. Let's start by, let's start by getting rid of the cx. So minus cx minus cx to get it all together on the left hand side. So boom, we have ax minus cx, then we still have this minus by, and that's equal to z. Okay, we have these on this side, but there's still this term here we need to get rid of. Since it's being subtracted, we can add it to both sides like this, plus by, plus by. These cancel, so we have ax minus cx equals z plus by. Almost there, right? So um, we have everything with an x on one side, so now what we can do is we can factor out an x like this, x parentheses. And the question you ask is, what do you multiply by x in order to get ax? Well, a. And then what do you multiply by x in order to get negative cx? Negative c. And that's equal to z plus by. And always check, right? x times a is ax, x times c is cx, and we have a minus. Almost done. The very last step is to divide. And the reason we divide is because x is being multiplied by this entire a minus c. So we divide by the entire piece. And what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So you divide the entire right-hand side, right, by a minus c. These cancel, and so we get x equals z plus by. And the whole thing is over a minus c, right, the entire thing. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.